Good morning. Hi, it's Tiffany from the Everyday Monet. I'm um, just dropping this morning. It is Sunday morning. And if you can pardon the mess behind me, we're finishing up our renovation out here. Hopefully it'll be done this week. That's what we're hoping. Weather holds up, we'll be good. All right, so anyway, uh, we're gonna be working on a door hanger today. And I'm gonna paint it um, a little bit different than the last one, but I'm hoping that you'll still like this one. Uh, go ahead in the comments below, let me know what you think. And if there's something you're looking for that you would like to see me do, let me know below. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. And put you down here. All right. Hope everybody's doing good today. Having a great Sunday morning. All right, so let's get started here. So we're gonna be doing this popsicle again. So I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it off a little bit. And this morning I'm going to do it more of a watermelon thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and let me shake this up. And I'll be using Christmas green. Grab my pink here. Be using a. Is that it? That's. There we go, right here. It's baby pink. Of course, I probably should go a little bit more hot pink. Let's see. Well, we're going to try this one. Let's see how this one looks. We'll try this Royal Fusion, see which one I like better. And we may end up mixing the two. Okay, there's the baby pink. Let's try the fuchsia. Yeah, probably end up going with the baby pink, but we'll see. And then we need a true red. So there we go. Anybody have great big plans today? I'd like to hear some fun plans. I know spring break's coming up, so I know a lot of people are gonna be busy with spring break. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start putting the, the coats on them. I'm gonna to use a cat tongue here. And I'm gonna turn this around and start at the top because there's gonna be more than one layer on this. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my top. Create me a little line here. And remember, uh, when you start these, it's not going to start out looking like what you want, so don't get discouraged and just give up. Go ahead and finish it to the end. Okay. All right, so let me know below what you're doing for spring break. Anybody have anything fun? Don't tell me dates. I don't, I don't want to know when you're going, just for safety reasons, but... Yeah, you never want to let people know when you're gone. But anyway, um, tell me what you're doing. And even if you don't have kids, I know a lot of people still go on spring break, take their vacation. We usually don't go during our, wherever we're living, we don't usually go during their spring break just because then everything's crowded. Okay, so I got that on there. And we'll let this dry and then I'll probably come back with another coat. So I'm not too worried right now. All right, go ahead and wash this out. Dry a little bit. All right, let's see. I'm gonna do the baby pink right along this edge. And let me create my little edge here. And then maybe Kind of make it go up into the red a little bit more. That may be what I do here, because I'm not thinking that fuchsia will look too great. It could, I may be wrong, but this is what I'm gonna do today. I got in, <coughs> excuse me, some new um, 4th of July supplies and I'm so excited to get those going. But truth be told, I've already started on some Christmas stuff. I don't know why, but I have. All right, so I'm gonna go about right in here. 
Then I'm just going to take just a little bit of this red in here. I'm going to blend it real carefully. I'm going to go right up here. And like I said, I'm going to put another coat on of the red just so that it's uh, kind of covers this wood grain a little bit because I'm not real pleased with the wood grain on this one as much. And I want it to be a real red. All right, so I've got to get some more paint out here. excited to see all the leaves on the trees again. Everything start budding back out. I am ready. Here we go. All right, so I'm going to go back down through here, get this line, and then I'm going to blend some of this red up here. Let me just get this bottom layer on so that it will blend a little bit smoother. Here we go. Oh, and I have an invader. I hear someone coming out. Who's out here? Quickly. All right. There we go. I'm gonna blend this. That means it's done, Garrison. When it starts making that noise, that means it's done. All right, so I'm going to go through here just like that. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and get the sides while I'm at it. What do you need? Just go back to your room. I'll bring you some when, when I'm down here. Go. Wait patiently. Okay, I apologize. All righty. All right. Through here. There we go. All right, now let me go back up here with my red. Get this touched up right now. Now, if you want to blend while they are uh, two different colors, you need to do it while they are still wet. It makes it so much easier. It can be done when it's dry, but. It makes for a hard project that way. All right. Here we go. All right. There we go. All right. Go ahead. Oh, that's why you need to wash your brushes out. I'll be able to cover that. I'm not worried about it. more okay a lot more than I needed but we've got some really dark wood grain on this and I'm not a fan of that for this particular piece I'm gonna go ahead and get my edges while I can all right we, go. we will probably have at least three more intruders before this is up, at least. Because they never need anything until, it's like when you're on the phone, they never need anything until you're on the phone. Then they need everything and everything's urgent. So, it will, it will happen, I'm telling you. It's all right though, part of life. All right, so I'm gonna take some of that red off there. I have a, something 
not there. I'm not real sure what that is. Okay. We're going to let this layer dry. A, there we go. Let this layer dry while I go ahead and move on down. Because I don't know if you can see right here, there is a nice big wood grain there, and I'm not a real big fan of that. So I'm going to go ahead and go through here one more time. Kind of. Turn this around. I'm going to get just the end of my brush wet just to kind of smooth out this edge right down through here. And right through here. Now I'm going to go ahead and touch up my edges. Okay. that out. Okay. Get some of this off. Now I'm using, um, on this one, I'm using all acrylics. And this is just, it's a cheap brand paint. It's not anything, you know, fancy foo-foo. It's just Anita's acrylics. They are from Hobby Lobby. Nothing is, nothing extraordinary. All right, now I'm gonna stay away from this line right now because I do not want to blend this yet. I want this to dry just a tad before we start. All right. And I'm gonna say Lee, because that way if it doesn't turn out good, I can blame it on you. No, I'm just kidding. All right, so back to our spring lake break plans. Let me know what you have in store. Like I said, we probably will not be going anywhere this year, so I'm going to live vicariously through everybody who's traveling. My uh, BFF, Rachel, she travels so a lot. Oh, well, I'm not going to say a lot, but she travels more than, than I do anymore. So I live through her, her photos on Facebook and when we get to chit-chat. So, Rachel, if you're watching... Make sure you're snapping pictures when you go on spring break, huh? Anyway, I do. I like to go look at people's travel pictures. We now have uh, some special need needs kiddos that don't do well traveling. Not because they're special needs, but, but because they're specific needs. Um, so we don't get to travel as much as we used to. All right, so I'm gonna, oops, I'm gonna go right up here at this border. I'm gonna take it a little slow. I am gonna empty some of my brush here. There we go. And I'm just gonna go really slow. I'm in no hurry. I'm relaxing today. It is Sunday. Y'all, this weekend was my grandma's first soccer game. And this particular gray man is three, my little haze. And oh my gosh, it's awesome. Brings back a lot of memories of when my oldest kids were little. My oldest guy will be 32 this year. And when he was playing soccer, his first year, he was four. I kept thinking, God, will some parent make that kid shut up? This kid is whining. Why won't this parent go take care of him? See what's wrong with this kid. That was my kid. He had his cleats stuck up in the net because he was trying to do a flip on the goal. Yep, so I was the parent who couldn't get their kid to, to quote, shut up. And I don't like that word, but you know, for demonstration purposes, that's what I'm gonna say. 
Anyway, he, uh, yeah, he got his cleats stuck up there. Soccer was not his favorite. I thought it would be great because he was a, a runner. He loved to be on the go all the time. No. He just ended up enjoying endurance sports, running, CrossFit, that kind of thing. So, yeah. But I seen my little grandman play yesterday, and it was so sweet watching those little kids. But I tell you, some of these parents, they are more competitive than the kids. So let them be kids. You know, at three, they're still just learning the fundamentals. So, you know, they shouldn't be worrying about if they're good at this or not. I'll just learn the rules and learn how to play with good sportsmanship. I know moms and dads everywhere are cringing as I say that because they're competitive, but, you know. It is what it is. And I know if my son saw this, he'd be saying, Mom. Yeah. He uh, is quite possibly the most competitive person I've ever met. So, All right. So I'm going to let that sit a second. And I'm going to go ahead and work on this down here. I really shouldn't do that yet. Hmm. Let me think this through real quick here. All right, I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try this, and if it doesn't work, I can go back over it. I am going to try mixing a little bit of this pink here with the green, see how that works. And like I said, if it doesn't turn out good, I'm gonna blame you. Let's see. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe. No, that's a definite no. What do you think? I'll just do this one side to start and see if I can work the kink out and see if it's worth the risk. Yeah, I think definitely not. Let's go back over that. Let's green that back up. Not a fan of that right there. Okay. So we are going to let this dry a minute and then I'll I'll go back over it when it dries some. I don't want to make a mud puddle here. All right. I'm going to go ahead and work on the brown. Probably should not do that just yet, but, you know, what the heck. Let's be a rebel. Let's live large. All right. We're going to use espresso on this, this one to start. ever comes out. Let's see. There we go. That's more than enough. Right, I'm going to go down here with this a different brush because I don't want that brown getting in here. Now I always like to start with the darker because it's easier to lighten it up. For, for me anyway. I find it much easier to lighten up than it is to darken. But that's that's just me. You do whatever floats your boat. And then I'm going to take off this excess. Go around the edges down here. And get all this. And make sure you get in the inside too. It's just, you know, those little finishing touches that set yours off. Down the sides here. Awesome, awesome. A little more off of there. I don't want it soupy. But. And then I'm going to go back in. I'm going to let this dry just for a few minutes just so it kind of sets a little bit. And then I'll go back and uh, let me get right in there and see that's not done good. Okay. Let that sit a second. I'm going to flip it back around. And work on that red a little bit more. Okay. I'll make 
sure my brush is good and clean. Don't want to transfer any of that green up here. All right. Oh, and I said green and I just go. All right, I hope that's not an indication of how my day's gonna go. It's got some goobers. Let me slide that over just a little bit. Not real sure. I don't know if it's the extreme temperatures out here. Possibly. That could be it. Okay, make sure. I know I keep harping on this, but make sure you go around your edges. Because you want it to be finished and polished looking. You don't want it to look like second grade did it here. All right, so I don't know if you've seen, but on the 19th, I have a very fun new product coming out and I'm, I'm so excited about it. I can't wait to just get it out here and so everybody can see what it's gonna do. All right, so we're gonna let that sit. I think my green should be almost dry enough that I can work on that. In the meantime, let me move this up here. So on the 19th, I'll be releasing a new product. Um, it's a little different. I haven't seen anybody else, excuse me. I haven't seen anyone else doing this yet. I'm sure they have. I just haven't seen it. So I'm hoping it'll be something that everybody's excited about, excited about, especially with summer coming up. Uh, I think it'll be kind of fun to do. So I will be putting together a lot of summer activities for kids and I will be launching a new um, live on Mondays and that'll be going for the preschool age guys, maybe like three to five. Two could probably manage it with mom and dad, mom or dad, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. So we'll be doing a story and a craft, and uh, I hope everybody will join in. Anyway, so what are y'all thinking so far? Do you like it? Okay, up oh, here's intruder number two. Come here. We have a, a guest. Come here. Good morning, sleepyhead. Let's get a drink. Let's get a drink. All right. I'm not getting a drink. I was getting too All right. to eat. This is intruder number two. We got one more. <laughs> good morning. Do you sleep good? Yes, I do. All right. All right. Hop on out. Let me finish this up, okay? I'll come inside in a minute. All right. Now I got at least one more. At least one more. And that's the baby girl. She celebrated her 10th birthday this week on Friday. She tried out yesterday for cheer. She did not make cheer. She was a little bummed, but um, I'm, I'm very proud of her for trying out. She was so nervous, but I'm so proud of her because she, she gave it a whirl. Can you shut that door, please? Thank you. All right, I have at least one more. All right, so let's go ahead and move on. Let's go back to this green and try to get that finished up real quick. Just a tad bit. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, my little one, she is 
by possibly the sweetest creature I've ever met. She is just a sweetie. Very compassionate. I'm, I'm very proud of her. Proud of all of them. They're, they all have their own personalities. Okay, so we're gonna let that dry. I believe that's gonna take care of that. Now we need to go ahead and we're gonna work on some seeds up here on the top. It's gonna be kind of tricky because we are, uh, it's not completely dry yet. Put just a tiny bit of black right there. Actually, I'm going to turn this around for a second. And just for safety's sake, we're going to let this dry just a second more. And we're going to work on this darker green down here. And I am going to put just a little bit of the forest green down here. Forest green? Holly green, pardon me. It's just a little bit darker. It's not a lot. But I do want a tad bit of contrast there. Uh, here we go. Like I'm wanting. All right. So I'm just going to add just a little bit here. Just to give it just a little bit of stripe to it. Now I'm going to need y'all to let me know, yes, no to the stripes. I've got a lot of these to make. So let me know what you think. Be kind, but yeah, be honest. There we go. Okay, so we're going to let that dry now. We're going to turn it back around. I'm going to set that right there in case I need it. I gave that just a second. I have my little fireplace right here. I'm going to let that dry. So again, don't forget on the 19th at 8.30 p.m. We're going to tune in and I'm going to reveal something very exciting. Uh, I find it exciting. Hopefully you will too. And starting April 1st, we'll be doing uh, Mondays and for craft for the little guys. And then I'm still working out details for summer, but I will have uh, some things for summer. All right, so I'm turn this back around here. And let me get, do, 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 do. gotta find the right brush. I think this one, no, we're gonna go a little bit bigger. No, not that brush. Yes, I'm a brush snob. That's all right. all right, here we go. We are going to go ahead and do some uh, seeds up here. No, yeah, seeds. But that's not the right brush. I was thinking of something else. Here we go. I think that's about the right size right there. So I'm gonna get a lot on there, more than anything, just to get my bristles to kind of lay down and behave. Let's see. Oh, Try this way because it's not wanting to. Let's see. There we go. Let's try a different way. We're going to go with this one right here. Okay, guys. I hadn't lost my mind. I'm just trying to get exactly what I want here. There we go. Okay, third time, fourth time's the charm. Uh, let's go up here. I'm not going to put too many in here.
Now normally when I'm painting, I have music playing. However, Facebook has been putting people in Facebook jail for having music going in their backgrounds that's licensed. And I have particular music that I like to paint to. And of course there are none that are license free, I'm sure. There we go. Let's see, a couple more up here. And I will go back through this and put uh, another layer of the black on if I see areas that are a little too transparent. Let's see, maybe one right in here. You know what, I'm gonna use this right here. That little black knot, that is now a seed, people. All right, maybe, no. Do I need another one over here? I think that's good, like maybe right in here. All right, and that's it. What do you think? Yeah, no? All right, I'm gonna leave that and we'll see. All right, now, I'm gonna go ahead and start around the bottom, working on this handle while that sits in and while I decide if I like it, because I think I might need another one over there, but we'll see. And you, you just don't know. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of the white. Oh, nope, that was almost bad. That was my glow in the dark. And that's the glitter. Don't want the glitter. Let's use the big bottle. There we go. black off a little bit of the brown up there and I'm going to take just a smidge of the white and mix it here okay a little bit more there we go all right and so I'm just going to go through here don't worry I'm not leaving it like this don't don't panic now this bigger brush. Give it a little bit of water on it. There we go. Get right up here at this edge without getting into the green. A smaller brush because it's too close. There we go. Get some of that up in there. Okay. So, that brush barely even touched. All right. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get my liner that I used for the seeds. Go back in here just a tad. Don't want a lot. I still got some water in this. Let me get some of that out of there. Awesome. Okay. Now, I need to go through <coughs> and decide on this. 
right here so I can go along and edge it with the black, which I think I'm gonna do, or I can leave it, but I think it needs just a little something extra. Yeah, I think so. I'm gonna go ahead and line it. And let me get these brushes out of the way. over. There we go. Turn it this way so I can go around these outside edges here. Alright, so I am going to go ahead and turn off the video and uh, what I will do is I will post the final product Please share the video. If you like what you see and you think it might be fun, something fun that you want to uh, be involved with, go ahead and follow my page, subscribe. Uh, you can go to www.TheEverydayMonet.com and all the way at the bottom, you can put your email in there and, and uh, subscribe and you'll get a weekly email um, when we have new products and stuff to, and re to remind you of, hey, there's a new uh, event coming up if you want to be involved. And... Um, you know, if, if not, go ahead and share it with somebody else may. All right. Thank you very much. Y'all have a great day.